Okay, welcome back to the Wheel Clan. We are here. We have already bought what we wanted. I wanted uh, sheet metal. I know that I have uh, called it to Dwarven Steel. I was like saying, oh, I need to go to the mine to buy Dwarven Steel. Well, not really. We already had Dwarven Steel. I wanted sheet metal. With this metal, possibly, maybe, finally. How can I help you? Uh, Magnus will make Sog some uh, some dwarven gloves because Sog really liked them, the ones that he borrowed from Magnus. So make them, Magnus. There we go. Uh, inventory. Come on. <laughs> Here they are. Thank you, Magnus, for. Having done this for Sog, see, now he has his own. There we go. And then, since we are here, I believe maybe we could go talk with the... I don't remember his name, but he wanted us uh, to go to the Stonecutter clan, I think, right? He wanted us to go to the Stonecutter clan and the, find his brother, and we did find him. Uh, the guy was... Uh, um, the whole uh, place was uh, under... Uh, uh, assaulted by zombies. Um, I think uh, this guy was this one. Train Iron Art. Yeah, it was probably him. Alright, you know, I've spoken with your brother. What did my errant brother have to say then? That he'll be returning shortly, he had a bit of a mishap there. A mishap? Of what nature? He discovered how to make zombies through technology. Oh, I'm afraid to ask, knowing my brother, but what happened? I had to rescue them, they were besieged by zombies. That damn tinkering fool, he could have killed the whole clan seems I owe you my thanks. Yeah, a reward would be nice, but thanks, I suppose. Good day. Well, I expected... Except I expected him to be here already, but he probably never gets here. And then... Uh, do you remember the book uh, that we found really interesting? that was uh, in Widow Minsk House Widow Minsk House the one that's under uh, under a locked glass case I suppose well that is the Turing book Durin book or something like that and Mr. Dixon remembers that he talked about the Durin stone with this guy here Eric Obsidian mm. Herrick, have you a moment? We already tried to talk to him about the Durin Stone, but he refused to talk to us because we don't have um, enough intelligence. But we already had the discussion with him, so maybe Mr. Dixon knows how to find the Iron Clan because he remembers this book in the Widow uh, Misk House. So perhaps I might look for proof of the Iron Clan for you. Yes, I suppose it does no harm. I have a copy of the schematic, so if you cannot find the place of Iron, I could always go look it myself. And if you do find it and the Durin Stone is there, bring it to me. It would be worthless to anyone but a dwarf and most precious to me. I'd have nothing to offer but my thanks. I'm afraid a historian has little in worldly, worldly goods. Hmm, you know what? I may, you know, I may happen on some treasure. I may happen on some loot, so maybe maybe I'll do it. Splendid. Here is the schematic. I wish the best of luck. So we have a schematic now. If you remember, he was talking about um, a... No, oh, we have learned it. Okay, well... Uh, what is it? Here it is, the iron key. 
search the place of, I don't know, where lies the stone voices, book of truth, of glass that opens beyond belief, power, such power, mm, that's interesting, right, treasure, the book of truth, uh, uh, Mr. Dixon is thinking about the book of Durin or whatever it was that he saw uh, in Caladon, so let's go then. Can we make the iron key? I think we can. I think. How can I help you? I think. I think we have everything to make it. Yeah. This is another dwarven steel. We have the mithril ore, and we have um. Hearthstone. There we go. Mr. Dixon. Where is it? Mr. Dixon, where did you put it? Where did you put the key? Okay. Let's hope we can find it. Oh, it's probably on the key ring. Oh. Yeah. Well. We have the schematic to a key that probably... Oh, I'm looping. Sorry. That probably opens this place of iron or whatever. Uh, we don't really know. You know, maybe if we manage to get that book from uh, Mrs. Minsk of if we ma or if we manage to steal it. We kind of forgot about stealing it the last time we were there, right? Yeah, I'm confused. This place is a labyrinth. We're out, right? I suppose so. You know, that book was speaking to Mr. Dixon. Mr. Dixon was thinking... <sighs> it's... You know, it reminds me of something. Alright then, we are out of the mines. We will have to come back here again if we find something about this Iron Clan. I hope we can find some treasure. Mr. Dixon is really eager to find some good ancient treasure. Welcome to Tarant. We are here to finally check out on Sebastian. I suppose it's never too late. So we're going into the boil. If you enter the boil, you're doing so at your own risk. Yeah, fine. Do you have something to say, Half Orc Bandit? Why would you think I would wish to speak with a halfling? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hmm? Yes, did you say something? Ah, what sort of words do you carry here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that, nothing fancy, lots of odds and ends. Of course, a lot of it's rusty, but a little spit and polish will clean it up, just like new, I suspect. We can fix something for us. Repair, pick locks. You had... Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I don't want to look at that. I don't think we have anything to give to you. Except some rings. I don't know, but... This place is quite bleak. I'm going around trying to find lootable stuff, I suppose. This is the main uh, place in uh, the boil. It's some kind of pub. Um, hello. Mm, yes, what can I do for you? Who are you then? The man before you is thick barrel chest, uh, wearing an apron and what looks to be a permanent skull. He regards you evenly. I'm called Malloy, Caleb Malloy, and this is my pub. Nice to meet you, Caleb. 
Good to meet you too, lad. He looks around and leans a bit closer. Listen, you're new here, around here. A man can tell just by looking who knows the boil and who don't. This ain't a nice place to be visiting, especially when you don't know the lay at the land, the lay of the land. <sighs> well, what do you mean with the boil? The boil, that's what this here stinking neighborhood is called. Bloody den of thieves, brigands and murderers, a few poor families here and there, mostly just trying to make a living and stay out of the way of Clan Mag Maug and Pollock's gang. Mm. Who are they? Pollock's half-ogre who runs a mismatched bunch of hooligans here in the boil, not too organized, mind you, but vicious and cruel. And Clan Mog? Darian Mog's clan is mostly orcs and half orcs. He plays it a little quieter, but you can't trust him any more than a Banjalian viper. Why would I want to work to work for them? Well, that's tough to say, lad. If you get involved with one, the other gang's going to be after your hide. A man needs to be careful about who he works for in the boil. Once you decide, there's not no going back. Are there any shops in the boil? There aren't. There ain't much to buy around here. All the Melin Burngerton, the Alfling, has a wagon set up somewhere around here. He's usually got something for sale, and most of it is stolen. Anything? Any work around here? Well, you could uh, talk with some of the boys here in the bar, of course, that would mean you'd have to make a choice which gang you wanted to join up with, Mogs or Pollocks, and then you'd have the other gang out to kill you. It gets pretty messy out here. Other alternatives? Hmm. I've got a job that needs doing. Might be easy or it might get messy. You never know here in the boil. Uh, so what is it? Well... I get a pretty regular shipment of whiskey every week. Except lately, one of the gangs been stealing it. Normally I don't get any trouble from them, and neither one is owning up to its cause. Uh, they know somebody's getting their skull smashed when I found out who, I who it is, so... Alright, this is a super partes job. <laughs> mm. What is it that you need me for? Well, I need someone to go and pick up the whiskey for me. I'm running real low. You go pick it up and I'll give you 500 gold pieces when you get it back here. What do you think? I think that's almost too easy. What do I do? The man's name is Biggs. He will be waiting for you in the middle of the Garillion Bridge at the towers. I'll send a boy over there and tell him to be waiting for you. Watch yourself, lad. The boy ain't a place to be getting careless. You hear me? Fine. Yeah. Uh, where can a man stay in the boil? Not too many places for a stranger to lay his head here. His head here in the boil, lad. You might want to try old mother Tilly. She's got a shack just to the west of here. Sometimes she'll take in a border or two if she trusts them. Okay then. Let's do this job quickly. Mother Tilly. This might be it. Looks like a bunk house, but I don't see Mother Tilly is here. A Mother Tilly. I'm suspecting that maybe it's a woman, but maybe not. Hello? Yes, who are you? Who are you? My name is Lars. What do you want of me? Nothing. Just going around. <laughs> okay. So the boil is uh, an independent, uh, independent criminal hub. I don't think it's related to the underground at all. The underground way moves uh, much more elegantly than these two gangs. What are you? What you want? Nothing apparently. A locked door. I'm curious, what would be in there? What is he guarding? Oh, look at that fancy gnome. Hello. 
His heavily perfumed gnome, gnome would appear laughable if not for the scars on his face or the oversized dagger hanging from his belt. And just what precisely do you think you would be doing here? Nothing? I thought you had dialogue, man. This mu must be... It's unlocked? I can go inside? Are they gonna attack me if I go inside? Yes. I don't really want to stir up, I don't want to be suspected right about now, I don't want to stir up any trouble, but this might be where the leader of one of the two gangs is um, holding up, holding up, is leaving really, because this one looks like a huge mansion. Empty, alright. It is what it is, I suspect. Tobacco leaves. Don't really need them. I wonder where is where is Mrs. Tilly really? Madame Tilly. Maybe she comes here during the evening or the night. I don't know. Maybe she's out. So let's go to the bridge, right? Oh yeah, and here, I don't remember which side is Clan Mog and which side is Pollock's Gang. I think this is Pollock's Gang and this is Clan Mog, or maybe the reverse. Maybe this is Pollock's Gang. Who are you? We do not associate with your kind around here, Arfling. Fine. Maybe Madame Tilly is here. Come on, get out. Uh. I think this this looks even worse than the other part. I don't think there's anything to be had around here. Oh, it was you making that noise, half orc thief. What could a halfling possibly want with me? Nothing, apparently. You're certainly not Madame Tilly. And this must be... Yeah... We have a dwarf. Maybe I can talk with this person? What do you want? Whose house is this? This is Pollock's house, and he don't like strangers hanging around here. Okay, so this is Pollock's gang. Mm, it's, it looks far worse than Clan Mog. Let's get to the bridge then. Okay, something's happening. Maybe. Move on. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, this is not suspicious at all. Hello? Hey there, you're Caleb's boy, right? He told me to be expecting you. I'm Pix. Yes, I'm here for the whiskey. Yeah, yeah, I've got it right here. My delivery boys keep getting mugged on their way to Malloy's. Hopefully, you'll have better luck. Thank you, then. Hey there, boy. Just what is it you think you're doing? I'm picking up some whiskey for Caleb Malloy. I can't even lie. Well, that's a problem now, lad. You see, he's here. is my territory, and no one brings any whiskey through Malek's Neb Malik Neb's territory. Okay, so it's not about Clan Mog nor uh, Pollock's gang. It's somebody else. This Malek Neb's territory. Without asking me first, I think I'm going to have to take that whiskey from you, lad. I don't think so, Mr. Nibs. You better move on. I mean, look at our party, Mr. Nibs. Mr. Nibs, seriously. And here we go. I think I'm gonna try. I'm afraid that these guys are gonna mold this poor man, so I'm gonna try and 
back stuff, but then... Yeah, the guys are attacking him, good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, would you do something if you see a party like Mr. Dixon's party with with Sog, with Virgil, like... Alright then. Didn't have nothing. Oh, yeah, are you right? I've had enough of this. Yeah, I can... I can sympathize with you. Oh well. The intruder... Malik has been eliminated. Like, would you put yourself against a party like this? With a couple of orcs? Seriously. <laughs> Always right, good to see you. Caleb, I've picked up your whiskey. Here it is. You have? That's grand, lad. Thank you so much for the help. Here's your money. You're welcome in Mallois anytime. Thank you. Do you know anybody whose name is Sebastian? Nope. Halfling bandit. Ah, these all look quite bad. Hmm. This one doesn't seem half as bad as the others. Welcome. Greetings, sir. Might I ask you who you are? Name is Sebastian. Ah. Have you a moment? What is it that you need? I've spoken with Edwards Willoughby about you, apparently. Yes, Mr. Willoughby mentioned that someone might be stopping in here for a drink. I can respect a man who's got the stones to make a trip over to the boil. Well, I don't think Mr. Dixon knew what he was getting into. Really? <laughs> well, I suppose you could call me a concerned citizen. Well, I see, maybe Mr. Dixon could be concerned as far as the underground goes. You know, he likes thieving, he likes doing his exploit. exploits. So, um, maybe being concerned about what happens in the boil would be good for him, especially if he wanted to extend the underground's territory. He's not the chief of the underground, and I don't think you ever become... It's not like Skyrim or Morrowind or the Elder Scroll, where in general you become the, gu the guild leader. I think um, you don't become the underground leader. There is no particular quest line tied to the underground. Well, I am a concerned citizen, a concerned... Concerned the person from the underground, I suppose. He gives you an appraising look. I see, Mr. Willisby told you of his plans over here in the boil. He mentioned them, perhaps you might elaborate. Well, he lowers his voice, leaning towards you. Mr. Willisby has his concerns about what's happening here in the boil. Do you know anything about the place? Uh, I've been around, I guess. He gives you an approving nod. Well, then I'm sure you know about Clan Mog and Pollock's gang. Yeah, who doesn't in here? As you can well imagine, Clan Mog and Pollock's gang aren't very fond of each other. There's quite a few disagreements between members of the gangs and almost and most of them end up with people dead. Yes, of course. So what does Mr. Willisby have to do with all of this? Well, Mr. Willisby is an important man here in the city. He's a little more than concerned that the element here in the boy will spill over into the better parts of Tarant. The better parts of Tarant should be kept for the underground, methinks. And of course, he just can't have that happen. I take it that's where you come in. Sebastian smiles wolfishly. Wolfishly, exactly. Sounds like something I might want to get involved in. Really? You think you're cut out for this sort of work, friend? Well... What do you mean, this sort of work? What sort of work, you ask? Well, what sort of work do you think it is, friend? There's an infestation here in the boy. Someone's got to take care of it. 
I'm still listening. Good, good. Listen, I know a little bit about you. Mr. Willowsby knows much about what happens here in Tarant and abroad, and he keeps me informed. I'm not exactly sure what it is that you're looking for, but I might be able to help. So, what are you proposing, then? What I'm saying is, you help me take care of my problem here in the boil, then I might be persuaded to help you with yours. What do you think? I don't think we need your help. But if I have a free slot, I'm definitely picking you up. Just for funsies. Uh, because um, I think a dog doesn't count as a companion. You get him regardless of your persuasion and charisma. And I think that the maximum followers is six. I don't really remember, so I might be saying nonsense. Let's continue talking about this, come on. Sebastian nods his head, then lowers his voice. Well, as you know, Darian Mog and Pollock have always run things here in the boil. I'm looking to take care of th that particular situation. So what are you looking to do? Well, usually with all of the fighting that goes on around here, the gangs tend to weed each other out. But lately, the word is that Clan Mog is growing more powerful by the day. That it's only a matter of time before Darian Mog takes over all of the operations here in the boil. So what? If Mog consolidates his power here in the boil without any opposition, then what's to stop him from corrupting the rest of the city in the same manner? You get my meaning, friend? Yeah, we already talked about this. I'm having enough <laughs> about your um, looping dialogue. Come on, you want to get rid of Mog? Here's what I'm proposing. You get rid of Darian Mog for me and I might think about helping you take care of your problem, whatever it might be. You know what? I'll think about it. And maybe get back to you. It's better if you accept the quest because otherwise they... Uh, I mean, it's better if I accept the quest, because then I don't remember which one I have accepted or not. What I am thinking about doing is basically... Mr. Dixon also remembers that we found uh, uh, secret entrances to, bo to both clans in the sewers. So I think Mr. Dixon will go down there and um, explore his possibilities. Can he get rid of the, of the leader of... Um, Clan Mog without making uh, much noise? Can you do that? We'll see. Let's say that. Okay, when you've taken care of the problem, if you take care of the problem, come back here and we'll talk further. Fine. I don't know if I want to talk with these people. Maybe it's better if we stay away. And we don't, uh, we don't attract attention. Okay, we are going down to the sewers, so you're gonna be instantly teleported down there. Hey, we are down here. We are already under, I think, Clan Mog's uh, entrance. Let's see what happens. Oh no, this is... This is Pollock's. Ah, well, you know what? Mr. Dixon was thinking that maybe he was thinking by himself, all right, oh no, somebody's coming, uh, that maybe since he knows about two entrances, two secret entrances, maybe he could get rid not only of the person that Sebastian told him about, so Clan Mogs. Um, uh, chief, but also clan, uh, clan Pollock's gang's leader because if he kills them both then there is more territory for the underground in his own thinking, like he's he really likes the underground he really, maybe one day he will be in, you know, a high ranked member of the underground now, Mr. Dixon doesn't really kill, he's not an assassin, but I think maybe, except from the fact that maybe he's shifting towards that, but for him, having a bigger playground is what's important, really, it's, you know, 
he's going to kill a couple of people that coincidentally are not are not very good people so he feels less uh, you know um responsible he feels uh, like more at ease about killing them he would never kill an innocent i suppose but why not killing these two guys it is unlocked um, this is gonna be difficult or not i don't know if i will manage to kill him in one go I managed. Oh no, no, no. How did they see me? <gasps> they they com they didn't see me because I was prowling. Guys, we need to get out of here. Yeah, they're waiting for me. Yes, sir. I'm ready to follow you, sir. <laughs> it was neat though that we could see them actually acknowledging the fact that uh, the leader was has been killed. <laughs> that was actually pretty sad, but <laughs> all right, let's move on. <laughs> that was How kind of neat. You? It's about time. What is it that I'm ready? What is dog? Oh, he's right there. And what is it that you want of me? No. Perryman, we forgot about him. There. Are you all with me? Come on. Wow, I had actually enough prowling to pull that off. 